Yes, uh, hello, good evening all of you. Just a minute. Eh? I, I'll just uh, open uh, YouTube on another channel, uh, another device, sorry, so that I can answer your queries in the comment box, right? Okay, so uh, uh, good evening students, welcome to my class, myself uh, Dr. Aditi Fapale and I teach biology on this platform. Let me just give a short introduction about myself, I have pursued PhD in diabetes, masters in bioanalytical sciences, BAC in biochemistry, all these courses I have done from Mumbai University. Then B.Ed. I have done in biology. I was topper uh, during my B.Ed. in my college. I have done it from Pune University. So, before I start with the today's session, I just want you to know what's new with an academy or how is it different from other online platforms that are available. So, an academy has recently launched a new feature that is an academy ask a doubt. Okay, so in this, you can, uh, as you can see, just, just, just a minute, I'll also use my pen tap so that. Yes, can you see here all of you? Okay. So, uh, in this feature, an academy ask a doubt, as you can see, you can ask unlimited doubts. There is no restrictions. He, you can ask only one doubt or two doubt. No, you can ask unlimited doubts. You can ask doubts at any time uh, during the lecture or at the end of the lecture. You get high quality video solutions in English as well as in Hindi. You receive exact matches for your questions, that is exact answers for your questions, whether it is subjective or MCQs. You get assistance with your homework and of course you obtain instant and accurate solutions to lakhs of questions. Okay, so these are, this, these are the features which make uh, an academy uh, platform different from the uh, other platforms. Now, how to ask a doubt? You can see here, step one, you just have to click on ask a doubt. Step two, select, take a picture or choose from gallery. If you already have a picture of your doubt in your gallery, you can just uh, select it from the gallery. Step three, click or select a picture of your question. Next, crop, crop it to highlight one specific question, right? And then you can choose the subject that the question uh, falls under. And the last step is, you just have to sit tight, okay? It means you just have to wait and you will definitely receive your solution as soon as possible, correct? So these are some simple steps uh, using this app, an academy app, using this simple six steps, not even six, simple five steps, you can get the solution to your answer. Now, uh, an academy platform offers you special free classes as well as plus subscription classes. Now, what's the difference between this? In special classes, uh, which are free, okay, students don't have to pay anything for it. So, in those special free classes, 
we teachers are supposed to cover 30% syllabus of every chapter. Okay, all teachers will be covering 30% syllabus of every chapter, right, in the special free classes. And then, if you like the lectures, you can use the reference code of that particular teacher and you can join the plus courses, okay, for the same, for the respective subject. So, in plus classes, entire 100% syllabus would be taught. I repeat, in plus classes, entire 100% syllabus would be taught. Okay? Uh, only thing is, you will have to take subscription. That is, you will have to pay, uh, which is very uh, minimal amount. You can take subscription for one month. You can take uh, for 12 months or up to 24 months. You can also take up to, you are in 11th now. You can take up to 48 months. That is 11th and 12th. So, there are options from 1 month to 48 months, uh, you can take the subscription. There are uh, plans for it. I will be uh, discussing about it towards the end. So, what are the features of plus subscription? See, you get uh, to learn live from the comfort of your home. Unlimited access to all courses. You get to learn from top educators of India on this platform. Uh, regular doubt clearing uh, and answer writing sessions would be there exhaustive coverage of entire syllabus as i said in plus subscription all the entire syllabus 100 percent syllabus would be completed or any time mentoring and guidance would be provided study material in pdf format is provided several practice tests are been conducted live test series are been conducted and of course there are uh, various batch courses available right so see you can see here I was talking about this, see, class 11th and 12th subscription. So, for, from, you know, 3 months, you can take 3 months subscription or 6 months, 12 months, 15 months, uh, 18 months or up to 24 months. And you can see the uh, prices also here for 3 months it is, you just have to pay uh, 2250 per month. And for 24 months, as you can see, rupees 938 per month. Correct? So, this is all about it. Okay, chalo. So, uh, let's start with today's topic. What are we going to study today? I will be talking about chapter 3. See, in my previous sessions, I have already covered chapter 1 and chapter 2. Okay, chapter 1 was living world and chapter 2 is systematics of living organisms. So, that has already been covered. So, today I, uh, I uh, will discuss about a very interesting topic. That is Kingdom Plant Day. What I intend to teach or cover in today's session is, as you can see, classification of Kingdom Plant Day. Then uh, we'll talk about it. Then we'll discuss about division Thalophyta. What are the characteristics of plants that belong to this division Thalophyta? The structure, the functions, okay? Along with uh, examples and diagrams. After that, we will also discuss about division bryophyta. Again, what are the characteristics of the plants belonging to bryophyta? Then along with examples and diagrams. Take care, their structure, their function, everything. So, this is what I plan to cover today. It's a two-hour session. So, from, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. So, let's, let's begin then. And yes, all of you, you can ask. See, I, I am also looking in the chat box. In my, uh, I have kept my mobile along with me and uh, so that's because if you have any queries if you want to chat with me if you have any queries please feel free ask doubts in the chat box uh, when i'll read it i will uh, definitely answer your questions okay So, I was, I was telling ki just feel free, I am not able to uh, see the chat box, 
Where is the chat box? I am not able to see it in myself. हर बार तो दिखता है ओके okay. chill so if you if you have any queries if you have any doubts please ask in the chat box and definitely when i will uh, look at it i will certainly answer all your questions okay chill so let's begin with today's session kingdom planting now kingdom planting is what is it basically all plants belong to this kingdom hai na all plants belong to this particular kingdom that is kingdom planting now whenever you uh, group anything into uh, various groups into various classes there is always some criteria based on which classification is done correct or grouping is done you will agree with me so we take a give five kingdom classification what is it what are the five kingdoms as per robert whitaker monera protista fungi plantae and animalia so based on the characteristics that these living organisms possess they he made this five kingdoms correct now so that in in now when we talk individually whether we talk about kingdom monera or kingdom protista or kingdom plantae or kingdom animalia when you uh, talk individually of any of this kingdom again there are so many uh, living organisms which are part of these respective kingdoms correct now talking about kingdom plantae there are so many different types of plants which are grouped in this kingdom so ek hi type ke plants hai kya no there are so many different varieties of plants and again therefore uh, sub kingdoms uh, were made based on the similarities and differences that exist between the plants then uh, file of the seven divisions were made correct then uh, even when the plants were placed in different divisions again based on similarities and differences there would there were different classes then different orders then families genus and ultimately species correct so you all know that species is the smallest unit of classification whereas kingdom is the largest unit of classification fine okay just don't forget that whenever classification is done let it be in any kingdom it is always done on basis of certain characteristics or certain criteria now let's discuss about the criteria based on which or characteristics based on which plants are been classified you can see here certain uh, points the first one is absence or presence of seeds so plants are classified Uh, as per whether they have seeds or whether they do not have seeds hai na then vascular tissues what do you mean by vascular tissues vascular tissues ka matlab hai uh, xylem and phloem correct xylem and phloem what does xylem do it carries water it transports water uh, in and mineral minerals dissolved minerals in the entire plant and what does the phloem tissue do, does it transports food in the plant correct so based on vascular tissues again uh, there are different types king plants are uh, classified and third very important differentiation of plant body now what do you mean by that different parts of plant body it could be external or internal so differentiation of plant body how exactly the plant body is based on that also different plants are classified there are herbs there are shrubs there are huge trees correct so remember this criteria i repeat classification of plants is done on the basis of characteristics like absence or presence of seeds 
vascular tissues, differentiation of plant body, etc. Now, first uh, you can see here phanerogams. Now, what are phanerogams? These are seed producing plants. All the plants belonging to phanerogams or which are grouped in this uh, phanerogams, they all are seed producing. What do you mean by phaneros? Phaneros, it means visible. Okay? So, it uh, visible. So, the seeds are visible. Correct? Uh, they, they also have the seeds in this plants and other structures as well. They are clearly visible. And that's fine. The term phanerogams. Okay? Achha. They have special visible reproductive structures. They have special visible reproductive structures. Remember these points? Then uh, there are cryptogams. One is fan, one major one major group is phanerogams, and the other one is cryptogams. What are cryptogams? These are spore producing plants. Remember, these are one minute. Yeah? Okay, see, so this is very important point. These, as you can see, cryptogams. So, these are spore producing plants. Now, in this cryptos, now how this word cryptogams has been derived? Cryptos, it means hidden and gamos, it means marriage. Cryptos, it means hidden and gamos, it means marriage. So, there are some hidden parts, there are some hidden organs, which means they are not clearly visible. In phanerogams, the, orga the organs or the structures were clearly visible. Hey na? And therefore, see, phaneros is visible. And therefore, the name was phanerogams. Understand? But here, it is opposite. Cryptos is hidden. That means the structures are not clearly visible. Therefore, the name cryptogams. And this is very important point. That is, they uh, are spore-producing plants. Okay, they are spore producing plants. So, do not forget that. Chal, this is very important. Move further. They do not produce seeds and flowers. Again, very important point. These cryptogams, they do not produce seeds and flowers. They reproduce sexually by gametes. Okay, they reproduce sexually by gametes. That means male gametes and female gametes are produced these gametes fuse and then zygote is formed, embryo is formed and then the uh, seed is formed and further development takes place. In cryptogams, sex organelles, organs are concealed. Achha, what do you mean by concealed? Concealed means they are again, they are uh, packed. Okay, they are covered. You can say they are covered and therefore they cannot be seen. Okay, so let's let's have look at all the points once more. Cryptogams, they are spore producing plants. Always remember this. Do not forget this. Crypto, the term cryptogams has been derived from two words: cryptos, which means hidden, and gamos, it means marriage. Okay. Now they do not produce seeds and flowers. Phanerogams, they produce seeds and flowers, but cryptogams, they do not produce seeds and flowers. They reproduce sexually by gametes, male gamete, female gamete. And the sex organs are concealed. Concealed means what? What do you mean by that? Sex organs are concealed. It means that they are hidden. Okay, they are covered by a structure. They are hidden. You cannot see them. They are covered basically. Okay? Chalo. So, any query, any doubt here? Anybody?
why am I not able to see the chat? Anyway, okay, chal. So let's move further. Yes. Now there are two uh, charts which are very important. So all of you, please pay attention here. Classification: Kingdom Plantae. King Plant Kingdom. It is uh, based first of all. Plants are divided into two groups: Cryptogamae, that is cryptogams, and Phanerogamae, which means Phanerogams. It's the same thing. Cryptogams or cryptogamy and phanerogams or phanerogamy is the same thing. Okay. Now, cryptogams they are uh, divided into or they are further grouped into three divisions. So, as you can see, cryptogams first is thallophyta, second is bryophyta, and third is pteridophyta. Okay. I repeat, first is thallophyta. Second is bryophyta, and third is pteridophyta. Today we will be discussing about plants belonging to thallophyta and bryophyta division. Okay? Then phanerogams we have gymnosperms and angiosperms. Again, angiosperms are further classified into monocots and dicots, and here thallophyta is classified into algae, fungi, and lichens. Hmm? Now certain characters. In short, I have also mentioned in this particular chart. So let's quickly have look at this chart. It is very important. Uh, I would suggest you by heart this chart, this first chart as well as the second chart. Okay, I would suggest you all please uh, by heart this chart. ठीक है? चलो, let's begin. Cryptogams, they are seedless. They do not produce seeds. Whereas phanerogams, they are seed bearing. You know, they have seeds. Now in cryptogams, thallophyta, bryophyta, pteridophyta. Let's have look at some uh, characteristics of each of these. Thallophyta, they are undifferent. They have undifferentiated body, which is called as thallus. Now, what do you mean by undifferentiated body? Okay, so what do you mean by undif? What do you mean by undifferentiated body? It means the uh, body is not divided into different parts or different organs. Okay, for example, they won't have fruits, flowers, stems, roots, you know, uh, leaves. These structures won't be present in them. Uh, so there is such a body is called as undifferentiated body, and undifferentiated body scientifically it is termed as thallus. Okay, so do not forget this undifferentiated body, and the undifferentiated body is also called as thallus. Therefore, the this division got the name thallophyta. Okay, no vascular system. That means no xylem and phloem tissues are present in them. Reproduction, it is sexual and asexual both. मतलब in some plants it is sexual and in some it is asexual. Examples, algae and lichens. Then bryophyta coming to bryophyta, they do not have proper root or shoot system. No proper root or shoot system is seen. No vascular system. Reproduction either sexual or asexual. Again, some examples, or you can say they are grouped into mosses. These are some examples of bryophyta: mosses, liverworts, hornworts. You know, we will be discussing about all these things today. Thallophyta and bryophyta, I, I will be covering in my today's lecture. Okay. Then pteridophyta. These are and they have a differentiated root or shoot system. Pteridophyta. Don't say p. Pteridophyta. Huh? P is silent. ठीक है बच्चों? याद रखना p is silent. So it is pteridophyta. They do have differentiated root or shoot system. 
मतलब प्रॉपर रूट रूट सिस्टम है एंड प्रॉपर शूट सिस्टम इज ऑल्सो सीन इन दैम नो वॉट यू मीन बाई शूट सिस्टम दे हैव प्रॉपर स्टेम ओके और ब्रांचेस लीव्स फ्लावर्स फ्रूट्स ऑल दीज फीचर्स आर ऑल दीज ऑर्गन्स आर प्रेजेंट देन वैस्क्यूलर सिस्टम अ प्रॉपर वैस्क्यूलर सिस्टम जाइलम फ्लोएम विच आर अरेंज एन वैस्क्यूलर बंडल्स एंड दे ऑल्सो कैरी आउट देयर रिस्पेक्टिव फंक्शन सो वैस्क्यूलर सिस्टम इज प्रेजेंट अगेन रिप्रोडक्शन इन सम इट इज सेक्शुअल एंड इन सम इट इज ए सेक्शुअल एग्जाम्पल फर्म्स कमिंग टू फाइनोरोम्स जिम्नोस्पम्स दीज आर नॉन फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स दैट मीन्स दे डू नॉट प्रोड्यूस एनी फ्लावर्स नो फ्लावर्स एंड देर फॉर नो फ्रूट्स नो फ्लावर्स नो फ्रूट्स अंडरस्टैंड क्योंकि फ्लावर्स ही नहीं है तो फ्रूट्स कहाँ से आएंगे दे हैव नेकड सीड्स दैट मीन्स दे डू नॉट हैव सीड कोट सीड्स आर नॉट इनक्लोज इन अ कवरिंग कॉल्ड एज सीड कोट ठीक है सच सीड्स आर कॉल्ड एज नेकड सीड्स दे आर बॉर्न ऑन स्केल्स ऑफ कोन्स देर फोर दीज रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कोन्स then angiosperms flowering plants that means they have they bear flowers and of course they have fruits they have proper seeds hmm, with seed coat and uh, they are enclosed in fruit understand this is very important point seeds in them are enclosed in fruit further gymnosperms are grouped into uh, evergreen plants as well as cycads whereas angiosperms further grouped into monocotyledons and dicotyledons and what do you mean by this mono is one correct mono is one and uh, dicot is two mono means one and di means two hai na to monocotyledons so what do you mean by monocotyledons cotyledon kya hai basically sabse pehle to wo pata hona chahiye cotyledon is a tissue understand you know cotyledon is a tissue which is present inside the seed and so mono is one plants belonging to monocotyledons they have only one cotyledon one tissue present in the seed now when the seed germinates when these seed germinate you get a you get only one small young leaf out of it you can see that only one small young leaf you can see and uh, then entire plant grows out of it in dicots di is two as i said so two cotyledons are present in the seed so when these seeds germinate you see a uh, two young leaves two small young leaves coming out of it theek okay? hai and then the entire shoot system develops so remember this chalo so uh, let's move further now we will discuss about salient features of major plant groups under cryptogams the first one is thallophyta so i repeat i i again want to tell you all if you have any queries if you have any doubts please ask me in the chat box hmm? so that uh, uh feel free to ask any queries any doubts I will be happy to solve all your queries. ठीक है? Okay. One second. I just have a sip of water and then we'll continue. Okay, chalo. So, uh, let's see the characteristics of plants that belong to this kingdom, Thallophyta. These are mostly aquatic. That means they live in water. They are marine or fresh water. Okay. That means some of the some of them they live in marine marine water. Marine water means salty water, oceans, seas, etc. and some of them they also live in fresh water 
fresh water means the uh, where salt concentration is very less okay or no very very less so for example rivers rivers lakes ponds okay this water is considered to be sweet or fresh and a fresh water and marine water it means oceans and seas where salt concentration is high okay so don't forget this remember this most of them they are free living most of them they are free living it means they 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 can live independently hai na they can live independently they uh, they are they do not they don't live in symbiotic relationship with other organisms hmm so most of them most of them they are free living that means they can live on their own independently and the, some of them there are some examples a few exceptions they are symbiotic some of them are symbiotic now what do you mean by symbiotic symbiotic means they live uh, in they live in combination with some other plants you know they live in combination with some other plants wo alag structure bana ke rehte hain dusre plants ke sath attach karke so and of course when symbiotic relationship is there understand both the organisms which are living in symbiotic relationship they provide each other something you know they benefit each other something and in fact so that's how they are dependent on each other you know and that's the reason why they live together or they are into symbiotic relationship theek hai dono bhi ek dusre ko kuch na kuch dete hain understand both of them they give something to each other they therefore they live together and we call it as symbiotic relationship we'll see the examples further don't worry few groups or few of them thallophyta few of them they grow on other plants as epiphytes okay now what do you mean by epiphytes epiphytes ka matlab hai कि वो दूसरे प्लांट्स पे ग्रो होते हैं तो उनको एपिफाइट्स कहते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दे लिव ऑन डिफरेंट प्लांट्स एंड द डिफरेंट ट्रीज और प्लांट्स एंड दे ग्रो देर दे फोर सच प्लांट्स आर कॉल एस एपिफाइट्स आई गिव यू एन एग्जांपल ऑर्किड्स है ना ऑर्किड्स यू ऑल नो ऑर्किड प्लांट्स दे आर सो दे आर सो ब्यूटिफुल ऑर्किड प्लांट्स दे लुक सो ब्यूटिफुल सो कलरफुल एंड अट्रैक्टिव ऑर्किड प्लांट्स आर अवेलेबल इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल कलर्स pink color yellow color orange red green blue almost all colors and they are so beautiful and attractive they are they they live the lifespan is also more matlab even after plucking them from the tree they uh, they can they remain fresh for uh, several days and that's the reason why they are costly and secondly they are used for decorative purposes you know in weddings in birthday parties corporate events etc uh, nowadays instead of marigold pehle marigold use hota tha now instead of even today it is used but uh, now many places uh, people prefer now orchids over marigold just because as i said they look colorful they are attractive they can uh, live for longer day many days you know even after plucking from the trees theek hai सो उनको एपिफाइट्स कहते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑर्किड्स याद रखना ऑर्किड्स दे ग्रो ऑन अदर ट्री ब्रांच ऑफ अदर यूज ट्रीज तो उनके जो रूट्स होते हैं ना दे पेनिट्रेट द बार्क और अ ब्रांच ऑफ दैट ट्री एंड द रूट्स द पेनिट्रेट एंड दे कम डाउन एंड दे आर हैंगिंग इन द एयर ठीक है दे हैंग इन द एयर तो एयर में से वो रूट्स जो है दे एब्जॉर्ब मॉइस्चर that's how they get water i hope this is clear the roots of epiphytes they are hanging because they penetrate in the branch of a tree and thus they are hanging in the air and they absorb moisture from the surrounding air that's how they get water for their functions some of them they grow symbiotically and they are epizoic also now what do you mean by that symbiotically uh, you and you i already told you that they live with some other organisms now what do you mean by epizoic epizoic matlab growing or living non parasitically on the exterior of living living organisms okay growing or living non parasitically on 
what do you mean by non parasitically that means uh, they are present on outside the body that is exterior of other living organism you know outside the body or exterior of other living organism but uh, non parasitically which means uh, it is not obtaining any nutrition from it from that host organism they are they do not obtain any kind of nutrition theek hai they do not suck any kind of nutrition they are just living there that's it they are just living on the exterior of uh, that organism hmm? so non parasitically ka matlab samjha they are not directly dependent on them for food requirements or for reproductive requirements unka food requirements ya unka metabolic uh, reactions ya unka cell division ya reproduction जो भी मेजर इवेंट्स या लाइफ प्रोसेसेस है दे आर नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑन दैट होस्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म ओके सो दे 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 आर जस्ट लिविंग देयर एक बोल सकते हो जगह मिला उनको रहने के लिए दैट्स इट बट अदरवाइज नन ऑफ देयर लाइफ प्रोसेसेस इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन दैट होस्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट्स व्हाई वी एंड दे कैन लिव इंडिपेंडेंटली दैट मींस दे कैन लिव इंडिपेंडेंटली इसीलिए कहा गया है नॉन पैरासिटिक ठीक है उसको एपिजोइक कहते हैं दे आर दे ग्रो सिम्बायोटिकली दूसरे मतलब दूसरे ऑर्गेनिज्म के साथ में तो है बट किस चीज के लिए जस्ट uh, उनको जगह चाहिए दैट्स वाई ओके दे जस्ट नीड स्पेस वेयर दे कैन लिव दैट्स इट जस्ट फॉर दैट सेक दे आर दे आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द एक्सटीरियर ऑफ अदर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म ठीक है बट दे ग्रो देयर और लिव देयर नॉन पैरासिटिकली I hope this is clear. एक बार वापस देख लेते हैं They are mostly aquatic, marine or फ्रेश वाटर मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर फ्री लिविंग सम ऑफ देम आर सिम्बायोटिक फ्यू ग्रो ऑन अदर प्लान सच एज एपीफाइट्स आई गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ऑर्किड्स सम ग्रो सिम्बायोटिकली एंड दे आर एपीजोइक विच मीन्स ग्रोइंग और लिविंग नॉन पैरासिटिकली ऑन द एक्सटीरियर ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम ठीक है चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं Plant body is thalloid. I already told you thalloid means it is undifferentiated. मतलब it is not differentiated into roots, stems and leaves. ठीक है? Then these are small, unicellular and microscopic organisms. These are small, unicellular and microscopic. Unicellular मतलब their entire body is made up of only single cell. and microscopic means you cannot see them by naked eyes you can observe them or see them only under the microscope theek okay? hai for example uh, cl chlorella now these chlorella they are non motile that means they cannot move then you have chlamydomonas they are motile okay which can move hmm? chalo again Uh, some of them they are multicellular hmm? not some of them yes to dono bhi hai dekho uh, thallophytes mein small unicellular microscopic organisms are also seen examples yaad rakhna chlorella which are non motile and chlamydomonas which are motile Chlamydomonas is also known as green algae. They are motile. They can move from one place to another. Then there are multicellular as well. Multicellular. Then uh, they are unbranched. That means they do not their body. Uh, they, it, it does not have any branches. And filamentous. Filaments means filamentous means what? The uh, the body is present in the form of filaments. Filaments are long uh, slender structures. लॉन्ग एंड स्लेंडर ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर उसको फिलामेंट्स कहते हैं तो मल्टी सेल्यूलर अनब्रांच एंड फिलामेंट एग्जाम्पल इज पायरो नाउ दे आर ब्रांच एंड फिलामेंट ऑल्सो सम ऑफ देम आर ब्रांच एंड फिलामेंट उसका एग्जाम्पल है चारा ठीक है रिमेम्बर दिस सम ऑफ देम प्रोनाउंस इट एज खैरा सम ऑफ देम से एज चारा दैट्स ओके दैट इज ए मैटर प्रोनाउंसिएशन आप कैसे भी करो बट या स्पेलिंग याद रखना दैट इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट सी एच ए आर ए एंड दे आर ब्रांच एंड फिलामेंट अलगे ठीक है स्पायरोगायरा एंड ब्रांच एंड स्पायरोगायरा अनब्रांच एंड फिलामेंट है जबकि चेहरा 
is branched and filamentous. Remember that. Let's move further. This is very important. Ye yaad rakhna. Sargassum. Okay, sargassum. These are microscopic sea beads. Hmm? Microscopic sea beads. They measure more than 60 meters in length. This question is asked in exams. Okay? This question it is asked in exams. Many, in many exam in many papers, this uh, this has been uh, asked. Okay? Uh, micro choose the uh, identify the microscopic CV. Then they will give some options. Usme ek sargassum hoga. Uh, so it's a microscopic CV. Microscopic means what? It is large. Microscopic means it is large. Macro macro means it the structure is large. You can see it. You can see it by your naked eyes. So macro it means large. Uske baad. Uh, sea weed, sea mein hota hai, of course, and weed is uh, unwanted plants. We do not grow these plants hai, for our benefit, for our purpose. So, weeds, they grow automatically. Hai, they do not need any special environmental conditions. I repeat, weeds do not need any special environmental conditions or any special nutritional uh, needs. They don't have any special nutritional needs. Yeah, koi environmental condition specific chahi aisa kuch nahi hai. They just grow. Okay. Thoda sa bhi nutrition mil gaya. Agar land wale hai, to thoda sa bhi mil gaya, jaga mil gaya, nutrition mil gaya, they'll just grow. Huh? Koi bhi environmental conditions mein they grow. Similarly, the aquatic ones. Okay. Unka koi bhoat demand nahi hai. No, no specific needs. Thode bhoat jo chahi hai growth ke liye. Pani mil gaya, thoda sunlight, temperature, that's it. Thoda bhoat nutrition jo bhi available hai pani mein mil gaya, that's it. They'll grow. Huh? So, but weeds ka koi, hume koi fayda nahi hai. Understand. Chahe wo land pe grow honne wale weeds ho, ya sea weeds ho. We do not have, we don't get any benefit out of it. Okay. We cannot use them for any purpose. So, that, so, isi liye, they have kuch kaam ke nahi hai, basically. ठीक है याद रखना हाँ तो सरगासम इट्स अ माइक्रोस्कोपिक सीवी लार्ज वी कैन सी देम एंड इट्स अ सीवी मेजर्स अप तू 60 मीटर्स इन लेंथ ठीक है उसका ये देखो लेंथ देखो 60 मीटर्स इन लेंथ इट इस दैट ह्यूज चलो लेट्स मूव फर्दर अलगल सेल वॉल how is this algal cell wall uh, present in them? They all are algae. Ye to ab tak pata chal gaya ki all the organisms belonging to Thallophyta, they are nothing but they are algae. Hmm? So, uh, how is the cell wall made up of? The cell wall in algae is either made up of polysaccharides. What are polysaccharides? Complex carbohydrates. You know, complex sugars. Many sugars, many monosaccharides joined uh, or get linked to each other and polysaccharides are formed. So they are either polysaccharides, for example, cellulose or glucose, or variety of proteins are present in the algal cell wall. Either polysaccharides are present, such as cellulose or glucose, ya fir, a variety of proteins will be present, or both are present. Matlab polysaccharides and proteins both make up the cell wall. Okay? They act as reserve food. Okay, the reserve food in them is starch. That you have to remember. The reserve food. Food is stored in the uh, algal cell wall. So, food is stored in the form of starch and its other forms. And what is starch? Again, starch is a complex polysaccharide. Okay? Chalo, that is complex carbohydrate. What about reproduction? Reproduction they mean again both asexual sexual in some of them asexual and in some of them sexual. Life cycle alternation of generation is seen that is uh, dominant haploid this is very important in Thallophyta 
all the plants belonging to thallophyta in them dominant halophyte alternation of generation is seen matlab have two structures are present okay Halo, uh, haploid as well as diploid haploid structure gets converted to diploid or it forms diploid structure then dip from diploid structure again haploid structure is formed and the cycle continues that's why it is called as alternation of generation so what but which one is drop which one is dominant in this life cycle of thallophytes which uh, generation is a dominant so haploid which is indicated by small letter n theek hai haploid is dominant whereas ye jo uh, diploid hai it is reduced okay in thallophytes haploid in the haploid means what the cells in them contain only one set of chromosomes cells contain only one set of chromosomes that is termed as haploid it is indicated by small letter n theek hai so in them haploids are dominant and uh, diploid that means the cells contain two sets of chromosomes indicated by 2n and they are reduced i repeat in thallophytes haploid is the dominant phase whereas diploid is the reduced phase theek hai yaad rakhna puchte hai exam mein chalo yes uh thallophytes they are classified into three major groups as per its pigments chlorophyce called as green algae i have shown it in green color then pheophyce these are brown algae brown color mein dikhaya hai rhodophyce that is red algae shown in red color both the names you should know i repeat both the names you should know theek hai bachcho chlorophyce it means green algae so you should know chlorophyce and green algae anything because sometimes in uh, books you will find they have written chlorophyce or somewhere you will just find green algae even in exam even in paper they may use any either of the terms so better you know both the terms theek hai chlorophyce green algae pheophyce brown algae and rhodophyce red algae theek hai ज्यादा करके ग्रीन एलगे ब्राउन एलगे रेड एलगे यही टर्म्स यूज करते हैं मोस्टली ठीक है मोस्टली दीज टर्म्स आर यूज बट एज आई सेड समाइम्स दी अदर टर्म्स में ऑल्सो बी यूज सो इट्स बेटर दैट वी नो अबाउट दैट है ना चलो अभी एक एक करके पढ़ते हैं क्लोरोफाइसी क्लोरोफाइसी और ग्रीन एलगे सी दे आर मोस्टली फ्रेश वॉटर है ना दे आर मोस्टली मोस्टली फ्रेश वॉटर मोस्टली फ्रेश वॉटर मतलब ज्यादा करके जो ग्रीन एलगे हैं यू विल फाइंड दैम इन फ्रेश वॉटर दैर इज रिवर्स पॉन्स लेक्स एक्सेट्रा फ्यू ऑफ दैम दे आर प्रेजेंट इन ब्लैकिश वॉटर एंड अ फ्यू ऑफ दैम आर ऑल्सो फाउंड इन मरीन वॉटर ठीक है then so what do you mean by brackish water brackish water is where the fresh water and marine water they meet hai na fresh water and marine water it meets so that water is brackish water and some of them are also find in marine where salt concentration is high to brackish water mein kya hota hai na the salt concentration is more than fresh water but it is less than marine water i repeat तो ये दोनों के बीच में आता है फ्रेश वाटर एंड मरीन वाटर के बीच में ब्राकिश वाटर है सो ब्राकिश वाटर हैज मोर सॉल्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन दैन फ्रेश वाटर बट इट हैज लेस सॉल्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन दैन मरीन वाटर ठीक है आई होप इट्स क्लियर दैट्स वाई आई सेड इट इज इंटरमीडिएट बिटवीन फ्रेश वाटर एंड मरीन दोनों के बीच में प्लांट बॉडी कैसी है इट इज यूनिसेल्यूलर देन कलोनियल एंड फिलामेंटस यूनिसेल्यूलर मतलब सिंगल सेल एंटायर प्लांट बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ ओनली सिंगल सेल कलोनियल मीन्स कॉलोनीज हाँ देर आर डिफरेंट कॉलोनीज एंड एंड फिलामेंटस इज अ लॉन्ग थ्रेड फ्लेक्सिबल फिलामेंट्स सेलवॉल इट इज मेड अप ऑफ पॉलिसेकेराइट सेल्यूलोस ठीक है नेक्स्ट सो दिस वॉज दीज आर सम फीचर्स और भी है क्लोरोफाइसी ग्रीन एलगे ऑफकोर्स ही they are green algae why they are called as green algae because they look green in color or they appear green in color simple so that means they have green color pigment in them so chloroplasts 
they have they do have chloroplasts now what are chloroplasts in their cells chloroplasts are the structures they are the cell organelles you know in which the pigments are present uh, here green chloro in chloroplast green color pigment chlorophyll is present green color pigment chlorophyll it is present in chloroplasts okay and that's why uh, these algae look green in color simple various shapes it exists in various shapes like discoid hai na matlab disk like discoid matlab disk jaisa disk like then uh, plate like hai na plate like disk like reticulate matlab in a network then cup shaped uh, ribbon shaped or spiral chlorophyll a and b ठीक है स्पाइरल फॉर्म में क्लोरोफिल ए एंड बी देन दे स्टोर फूड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्टार्च व्हिच इज अगेन अ कॉम्प्लेक्स पॉलीसेकेराइड कार्बोहाइड्रेट कॉम्प्लेक्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट ठीक है क्लोरोफाइसी ग्रीन एलगे दे स्टोर फूड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्टार्च ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस चलो आगे जाते हैं chlorophycee or green algae again some more points they have pyrenoids there are pyrenoids in them pyrenoids are again uh, small structures now these small structures pyrenoids they are located on chloroplasts matlab they are present on chloroplasts to so cell hai plant cell cell mein different cell organelles jisme chloroplasts bhi hai and on the chloroplasts pyrenoids are present ठीक है ग्रीन एलगे इज रिच इन प्रोटीन्स एंड देर फोर ग्रीन एलगे आर ऑल्सो यूज एज फूड दे आर यूज बाय स्पेस ट्रैवलर्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वेन दीवल स्पेस ट्रैवलर्स ओके दे ट्रैवल इन दी स्पेस अलॉन्ग यू नो मेनी फॉर मेनी मेनी ईयर्स दे मे नॉट कम डाउन मेनी मंथ्स और मेनी ईयर्स एज वेल सो वेन दीज ट्रैवलर्स दे कैरी दिस ग्रीन एलगे or food or food products okay made out of green algae along with them okay because uh, it, as i said it, they are rich in proteins that's why uh, examples pyrogyra chlamydomonas all of them are green algae spirogyra chlamydomonas chara volvox and ulotrix okay all of them are uh, green algae remember the uh, examples in biology examples are very important correct so please remember the examples spirogyra chlamydomonas chara volvox ulothrix etc now i will show you some example diagrams you can see here chara uh, two uh, green algae uh, i have shown chlamydomonas uh, you can see the diagram of chlamydomonas and here the green color that is the actual uh, plant how it looks like okay that is the actual real picture uh, it looks like that then coming to the chlamydomonas you can see pyrenoid structure is there can you see dekho yahan pe hai na pyrenoid they have shown pyrenoid here you can see see here ek minute so you can see pyrenoid in this diagram pyrenoid you can see cell wall a uh, pigment spot chloroplast this entire thing is chloroplast hai na this entire thing is chloroplast within chloroplast you can see pyrenoid structure then pigment spot you can also see cytoplasm this entire thing is cell unicellular so single celled organism chlamydomonas green algae 
इट इज यूनिसेल्यूलर मतलब द एंटायर बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ ओनली सिंगल सेल ठीक है तो ये सिंगल सेल है एंड सेल के अंदर इन साइड द सेल यू हैव दिस साइटोप्लाज्म ठीक है सेल है तो ऑब्वियसली मैट्रिक्स तो होगा मैट्रिक्स इज नोन एज साइटोप्लाज्म देन न्यूक्लियस इज प्रेजेंट इन द साइटोप्लाज्म यू कैन सी पायरेनोइड इज हियर देन कॉन्ट्रेक्टाइल वैक्यूल्स स्मॉल कॉन्ट्रेक्टाइल वैक्यूल्स यू कैन सी है ना स्मॉल कॉन्ट्रेक्टाइल वैक्यूल्स एक बड़ा एक छोटा यहाँ पे है देन दीज आर फ्लैजिलम्स फ्लैजिला सिंगुलर इज फ्लैजिलम प्लूरल इज फ्लैजिला फ्लैजिला हेल्प्स देम इन मोटिलिटी है ना दे कैन मूव बिकॉज ऑफ फ्लैजिला सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर ये क्लाइमेटम मोनास का डायग्राम एंड दिस इज हाउ दुअल चारा लुक्स लाइक Now let's move on to brown algae. Brown algae, they are also called as uh, Phaeophyce, Phaeophyce or brown algae. These are mostly marine. Uh, they are rarely fresh water. They are simple branched or filamentous. Mostly marine means they live in salt water, salty water, oceans, uh, seas, etc. very few of them so i have mentioned rarely they are fresh water simple branched some of them they are simple some simple branches are there some of them are filamentous example ectocarpus theek hai and then some of them are profusely branched matlab many branches many branches so for example uh, petalonia remember these examples hai na simple branched ya filamentous ka example hai ectocarpus and profusely branched ka example hai petalonia theek hai chalo let's move further phyophyce और ब्राउन अलगे फ्योफाइसी और ब्राउन अलगे सम मोर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स द सेलवॉन इज मेड ऑफ ऑफ सेल्यूलोस फ्यूकैंस एल्जिन ऑल ऑफ देम आर पॉलीसेकेराइट्स अंडरस्टैंड सो सम ऑफ देम इन सम ऑफ देम द सेलवॉल इज मेड ऑफ ऑफ सेल्यूलोस इन सम ऑफ देम इट इज मेड ऑफ ऑफ फ्यूकैंस एंड इन सम इट इज मेड ऑफ ऑफ अल्जिन दे डू हैव फोटोसिंथेटिक पिगमेंट्स इन दैम they photosynthetic pigments matlab these are color producing pigments and they help in photosynthesis so you have chlorophyll a chlorophyll c and phycoxanthin remember chlorophyll a chlorophyll c and phycoxanthin they also have store food materials hmm? or you may say uh, it's a reserve food which is present in them whenever they do not get food let's say and they are hungry then their body will use it the stored food material so stored food is present in the form of mannitol then laminarin and starch mannitol laminarin as well as starch theek hai now again uh, these are uh, co- complex carbohydrates understand you know they all are polysaccharides let's move further their body okay body of uh, phyophyce or brown algae it is differentiated into cold fast stalk called as stipe and leaf like photosynthetic organ called as frond i repeat their body is differentiated into cold fast stalk called as stipe okay stalk like structure cold fast matlab uh, with the help of it uh, they fix to the uh, they hold naam se pata chalta hai dekho hold fast matlab ye jo structure hai unka it helps uh, in it helps them in anchorage okay with the help of that they will attach to sur- sur- surface or okay? to certain surface so the body is differentiated into structure known as hold fast it helps them into anchorage hai na then stalk stalk it is called as stipe and then leaf like photosynthetic organ it is not leaf but leaf like 
and it is in, it carries out photosynthesis and uh, the name is frond now it is used as food again just a green algae is used as food similarly brown algae is also used as food examples laminaria sargassum both these examples are important they ask an exam mcq mein puchte hain ki identify the brown algae amongst the following hai na so, ya fir sargassum is a dash algae green brown red they will put so either way they can ask दोनों के रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन आते हैं याद रखना ब्राउन अलगे या फियोफाइसी दी एग्जाम्पल्स आर लैमिनेरिया एंड सरगैसिंग दे आर प्योर ब्राउन इन कलर देर फॉर ब्राउन अलगे सम स्पीशीज दे आर यूज इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ हाइड्रोकोलॉइड्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्ट्रोकार्पस फ्यूकस एक्सेट्रा ना वॉट यू मीन बाई हाइड्रोकोलॉइड्स हाइड्रो इट मीन्स वॉटर एंड कोलॉइड्स वॉट आर कोलॉइड्स या कोलॉइडल स्ट्रक्चर्स दीज कोलॉइड्स मीन्स दे डू नॉट दे आर नॉट कम्प्लीटली सोल्यूबलाइज इन वॉटर दे डू नॉट डिजोल्व इन वॉटर एंड दे फॉर्म अ सस्पेंशन इन वॉटर यू कैन से देन वॉटर एडजॉर्ब ऑन टू इट सर्फेस वॉटर डज नॉट पेनिट्रेट इन इट कोलॉइड्स के अंदर है ना जो कोलॉइड जब स्ट्रक्चर बनता है द वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल्स डू नॉट पेनिट्रेट इन साइड इट इट डज नॉट गेट एब्जॉर्ब इन साइड इट but on to its surface it remains such as structures are called as colloids so hydro colloids hydro water ke liye ectocarpus and fucus remember these names see here i have also shown the diagrams to make you uh, understand yahan pe dekho teen parts dekho laminaria hold fast maine kaha na hold fast hold fast se kya hota hai uh, anchorage ke liye unko madad hoti hai then stipe ye stalk hai stalk like structure which is called as stipe and then you can see this frond that is a leaf like structure which is used in photosynthesis theek hai chalo so green algae is done we have what, what have we done up till now up till now we have studied uh, ek minute hai huh? Up till now, we have studied about uh, characteristics of thallophyta, plants belonging to thallophyta. Then we also discussed about red algae, the characteristics, examples, diagrams, as well as uh, sorry, red algae. We will be doing now. We have already covered up, uh, green algae and brown algae. Okay. yes so we have seen green algae and brown algae now we will discuss about red algae rhodophyce that is red algae r r dono r hai rhodophyce red algae they appear red in color uh, they are marine as well as fresh water and uh, some of them are found in marine water some of them in fresh water they some of them they are found on surface some of them are present in deep sea and some of them in brackish water as well theek hai sab jagah hai ye matlab red algae sab jagah hai plant body is thalloid baki ke do algae ki tarah inka bhi plant body is thalloid that means it is not differentiated into root stem leaves etc the cells uh, of these algae it possesses uh, pigments that is chlorophyll a chlorophyll d and फाइको एरिथ्रिन दीज आर दिगमेंट्स प्रेजेंट इन रेड एलगे क्लोरोफिल ए क्लोरोफिल डी एंड फाइको एरिथ्रिन देन सेलवॉल इट कंजिस्ट ऑफ सेल्यूलोस एंड पेक्टिन है ना पॉलीसेक्राइड है कॉम्प्लेक्स पॉलीसेक्राइड है सेलवॉल इज मेड ऑफ ऑफ सेल्यूलोस एंड पेक्टिन ग्लूप विथ अदर कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स ठीक है ग्लूप विथ मतलब दे आर ज्वाइंट विथ अदर कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रक्चर्स है सेल्यूलोज भी है पेक्टिन भी है एंड अदर कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स के साथ दे आर प्रेजेंट कॉम्प्लेक्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स ठीक है 
uh, in red algae the food which is stored it is in the form of floridian starch or it is called as floridian starch theek hai remember the name floridian starch red algae mein food is stored in the form of floridian starch starch hi hai it's a complex polysaccharide again the name because of its specific structure the name given is floridian starch now agar agar example hai agar agar this is obtained from red algae very important puchte hai agar agar is obtained from dash green algae red algae brown algae and let me tell you many students uh, they write green algae i have seen in exams i don't know kaha se uh, आता है ये उनके दिमाग में बट मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव रिटन दिस इन एग्जाम ग्रीन एलगे सो डू नॉट इट्स नॉट ग्रीन एलगे आई रिपीट अगार अगार इट इज ऑप्टेन्ड फ्रॉम रेड एलगे अगार अगार क्या है अगार अगार इज बेसिकली अ सब्सटेंस है ना अ केमिकल सब्सटेंस इट इन द पाउडर फॉर्म एंड इट इज ऑप्टेन्ड फ्रॉम रेड एलगे इट इज कमर्शियली इम्पॉर्टेंट why commercially important because it is used as solidifying agent in tissue culture techniques hai na jo laboratory mein research researchers msc students phd students researchers scientists jo bhi hai hai na the those who work in laboratories or those who uh, do tissue culture whether plant tissue culture or animal tissue culture understand they grow different plant cells or animal cells in nutritional medias hai na nutrient media mein grow karte hain nutrition mila tabhi to wo grow hoga na jo bhi cell hai to new different nutrient medias have been used in laboratories to grow to for growing living organisms chai microorganisms or plant cells or animal cells abhi usme ye agar agar is one common nutrient medium a common nutrient medium is uh, contains agar agar theek hai na ye solidifying agent hai kyunki ye uh, powder form mein obtain you obtain it in, in the market it is obtained in powder form understand but then you dissolve it in water and you make a solution that while using it you dissolve it in water in proper proportion and uh, you, uh, you you will get a liquid out of it then you pour that liquid in the petri plate and uh, you you wait for few minutes 10 to 15 minutes it will solidify theek hai if when it is exposed to air uh, after 15 minutes you just have to keep it like that it will solidify that's why yahan pe likha hai solidifying agent in tissue culture to wo solidify hone ke baad hi फिर उसमें हम प्लांट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स का कॉलोनीज या प्लांट सेल्स या एनिमल सेल्स वहां पे हम डालते हैं फॉर डिवीजन एंड फर्दर ग्रोथ एग्जांपल रोडोफाइसी या रेड अलगे का कॉन्ड्रस बैट्राको स्पर्मम पोरफायरा जेलीडियम ग्रेसिलेरिया पॉलीसिफोनिया एग्जाम्पल्स देखो पॉन्ड्रस पैट्राकोस्पर्म पोरफायरा जेलेडियम ग्रेसिलेरिया आणि पॉलिसिफोना ठीक है दिस इज दिस इज हाउ एक्चुअल ग्रेसिलेरिया लुक्स लाइक हा दिस इज द एक्चुअल पिक्चर ऑफ ग्रेसिलेरिया दैट इज रेड एलगे चलो सो बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू ब्रायोफाइट्स वी विल कंडक्ट अ पोल नाउ ठीक है आर यू ऑल रेडी फॉर पोल दैट इज क्विज फटाफट क्विज करते हैं यू आंसर इन द चैट बॉक्स पुट यू आंसर इन द चैट बॉक्स ठीक है अगर आपको दिस पोल इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस क्विज is based on whatever i have taught you up till now theek hai aaj ke lecture mein ab tak maine jo bhi padhaya hai this poll or this quiz is based on that so be ready uh, if you know the answer please write it in the chat box theek hai 
चलो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द जनरल टर्म फॉर अ ग्रुप ऑफ प्लांट्स रिप्रोड्यूसिंग बाय स्पो फॉर्मेशन इज डैश आई गिव यू अ मिनट फ्यू सेकेंड आई गिव यू चलो जल्दी उसके बाद मैं आंसर बोल दूंगी फिर जिसको आता है चैट बॉक्स में लिखो द जनरल टर्म फॉर अ ग्रुप ऑफ प्लांट्स रिप्रोड्यूसिंग बाय स्पोर फॉर्मेशन इज थैलोफाइट्स स्पोरोफाइट्स ब्रायोफाइट्स या क्रिप्टोगैम्स ओके, द आंसर इज क्रिप्टोगैम्स ठीक है जनरल ग्रुप पूछा है फॉर ऑल प्लांट्स प्रोड्यूसिंग दूरी प्रोड्यूस बाय स्पोर फॉर्मेशन सो आंसर इज क्रिप्टोगैम्स ठीक है नेक्स्ट इन थैलोफाइटा थैलो मींस प्लांट बॉडी विदाउट डैश रूट स्टेम एंड लीव्स ओनली लीव्स देन ट्रू रूट या क्लोरोफिल Come on, write the answer in the chat box, all of you. so in thalophyta thalo means plant body without root stem and leaves answer is a usme kuch nahi hota no root no stem no leaves barabar next which of the following plants comes under division thalophyta which of the following plants comes under division thalophyta pinus chara इपोमिया या पैफियो पेडिलम कम ऑन राइट इन द चैट बॉक्स ओके आंसर इज चैरा ओके नेक्स्ट विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज द डोमिनेंट फेज इन थैलोफाइटा या थैलोफाइट विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज द डोमिनेंट फेज इन द थैलोफाइट वेजिटेटिव स्पोरोफाइटिक गैमाटोफाइटिक या हेलोफाइटिक कौन सा डोमिनेंट फेज है थैलोफाइट में आंसर इज गैमाटोफाइटिक नेक्स्ट जिम्नोस्पर्म्स दे डू नॉट प्रोड्यूस डैश नेकेट सीड्स roots and embryo or vascular system gymnosperms do not produce answer is fruits hai na gymnosperms no flowers they are non flowering plants so no flowers and therefore no fruits flowers honge to hi fruits honge flowers nahi hai to fruits bhi nahi hai theek hai therefore here answer is fruits सरगैसम इज डैश रेड अलगे ब्राउन अलगे ग्रीन अलगे या नॉट एन अलगे ऑल दीज आंसर यू विल गेट टू नो इफ यू हैव लिसन केयरफुली टू माई लेक्चर सारे आंसर्स मेरे प्रेजेंटेशन uh, में है जो भी प्रेजेंटेशन अब तक मैंने किया आज का जो भी लेक्चर मैंने लिया ऑल दी आंसर्स आर देयर इन दैट so if you have observed my slides carefully or if you have uh, listened to me carefully you will definitely get all the answers right and these are the questions which are asked in uh, mcqs as mcqs in in uh, entrance exams as well sargassum is chalo brown algae theek hai sargassum is brown algae okay so uh, aaj ka ek uh, pdf ho gaya hai है ना वन पी डी एफ इज डन सो नाउ वॉट आई डू इज
yes so one pdf uh, is done now we will uh, discuss the second pdf theek hai thalo aaj ke lecture mein i had planned thalophyta and bryophyta so thalophyta is done we still have uh, 40 minutes hai na so thalophyta is done now we will discuss about bryophyta salient features of major plant groups under cryptogams division bryophyta see if anybody has any queries hmm? anybody has any queries uh, regarding thalophyta you can please ask me in the chat box theek hai i will definitely answer your queries now bryophytes they are most they are mostly terrestrial plants what do you mean by terrestrial plants they live on lands theek hai they live on lands therefore they are mostly terrestrial plants they uh, grow in moist and shady places moist matlab jahan pe uh, pani hai moisture hai and shady places means shadow hmm? moist and shady places they need water for fertilization as well as for completion of life cycle therefore they are called as amphibious plants correct because they need water for fertilization and completion of life cycle understand they are terrestrial plants they live on land but they also need water for two major uh, events of their life fertilization and to complete the life cycle and therefore they are called as amphibious plants amphi ka matlab hota hai both to pani bhi chahiye land bhi hai dono hai that's why amphibious plants amphi ka matlab hota hai two ya yeah, both now this bryophytes they include approximately 960 genera and about 25000 species theek hai on the planet earth let's move further the life cycle in bryophytes bryophyta it is sporophytic as well as gametophytic so the life cycle again alternation of generation is seen in bryophytes both sporophytic generation is seen as well as gametophytic generation gap sporophytic generation is always diploid remember it is 2n that means the cells present in it they will have two sets of chromosomes represented by 2n whereas gametophytic it is indicated by small letter n it means the cells have one set of chromosomes only theek hai now in bryophytes the gametophytic generation again it is thalloid or leafy plant body in some cases it is thalloid matlab thallus and in some cases leafy plant body and sporophytic generation spore producing capsule the structure uh, it produces spores and therefore it is called as spore producing capsule theek hai yes now in bryophytes rhizoids are present now what are rhizoids uh, they are root like structures they are not uh, like our actual roots but these are root like structures called as rhizoids they are uh, unicellular for example liverworts hai you na know? some of them are unicellular bryophytes some of them are unicellular matlab single cell example liverworts and some of them they are multicellular matlab their body is made up of many cells for example mosses dono ke bare mein padhenge liverworts kya hai mosses kya hai Uh, we will study about both of them now these bryophytes they absorb water and minerals from the plants remember and they also help in fixation on the substratum huh? so they will uh, with the help you, you they with the help of the uh, with the help of for their their specific body structures they will fix their body on to certain structures which is called as substratum hai na they will fix their body onto the substratum so these rhizoids 
these root like structures they help in doing so they help in fixation on the huge structures or uh, called as substratum chalo so they are divided into two groups as i said liverworts and mosses liverworts are uh, unicellular whereas mosses are multicellular so let's uh, discuss about liverworts liverworts are also called as uh, hepaticea liverworts are also called as hepaticea now these are uh, lower members of bryophyta bryophyta may be sabse lower members hai these are uh, primitive groups ekdam purane primitive groups then gametophyte in them uh, the gametophyte is flat plant body flat plant body and it is a thallus that means thalloid structure so it is not differentiated into root stem leaves etc theek hai thallus is green in color it is dorsi ventral now what do you mean by dorsi ventral uh, flat from dorsal side as well as ventral side dorsal side is back side of any living organism back portion back side is dorsal and ventral matlab front side ha huh? so ye inka jo thallus hai dorsi ventral hai dorsi ventral means flat from both the sides flat from dorsal side as well as ventral side usko kehte hai dorsi ventral and then green in color hai thallus thallus prostrate hai. what do you mean by prostrate uh, it is parallel to the ground surface parallel to the ground surface erect hota hai and prostrate hota hai erect matlab seedha hai na 90 degree angle ground uh, level ka ground surface ko 90 degree ya straight usko hum erect kehte hain prostrate is these uh, plants or they will grow parallel to the ground surface hai na horizontal ya parallel lateral to the ground surface usko prostrate kehte hain and then unicellular rhizoids these rhizoids they are unicellular matlab single cell structures hai in me jo rhizoids hai ठीक है एग्जाम्पल देखो लीबर बर्ड्स का रिसिया एंड मर्चेंटिया ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर दिस एग्जाम्पल हाँ लीबर बर्ड्स का एग्जाम्पल है रिसिया एंड मर्चेंटिया पूछते हैं एग्जाम में सी दिस इज हैव इट लुक्स लाइक रॉक्स पे होता है बड़े बड़े रॉक्स अगर आप बीचेस पे वगैरह गए हो इफ यू हैव इफ यू मस्ट हैव गॉन टू बीचेस और है ना तो वहां पे जो रॉक्स होते हैं यूज रॉक्स तो रॉक्स ये तो अभी मैग्नीफाई करके बताया है दिस इमेज इज बिन मैग्नीफाइड और जूम बट एक्चुअली दिस इज वेरी स्मॉल सो यू विल हैव टू लुक वेरी केयरफुली एकदम नजदीक जाके देखना पड़ेगा देन यू विल सी दिस हाँ प्रेजेंट ऑन द रॉक्स यूज रॉक्स then hornworts ye ek example hai liverwort ka hornworts also called as anthocerotii okay liverworts alag hai understand liverworts is different and hornworts is different hmm? by mistake this has come here सो आई जस्ट कैंसिल इट आउट ये गलती से आया है यहाँ पे है ना इसके तीन ये है मेजर लीबर वर्ड्स एंड मोजिस है लीबर वर्ड्स एंड मोजिस बट इवन दिस इज देर हॉनवर्ड्स भी है ठीक है आई वोट कैंसिल इट लेट इट बी हॉनवर्ड्स को एंथोसिरोटे भी कहते हैं नाउ दी द फ्लैट थैलस दे हैव फ्लैट थैलस थैलस इज horny structures called as porophytes how is the thallus in them onwards me uh, horny structures are okay and uh, they have and they are called as porophytes horny structures are present in them therefore the name hornwoods simple an example is anthocerous hmm? anthocerous hornwoods ka example hai yaad rakhna horny mujhe horn horn jaisa horny structures एच ओ आर इन हॉन्स जैसा है ना हेंस द नेम चलो सो लीवर वर्ड्स वी हैव डन 
Now let's talk about Moses. Before that, I'll just have a sip of water. Okay, so let's discuss about Moses. See, Moses, they are also called as Maskai. Okay, Moses are also known as Maskai. These are advanced members. Leberworks are primitive members. These are advanced members of Bryophyta. They possess erect plant body. Usko opposite hai leberworks ka. Leberworks prostrate plant body. They are parallel or horizontal to the ground. Jabki Moses, they have erect plant body that is 90 degree to the ground surface, erect plant body. Gametophytic phase, uh, they, ha, they do have gametophytic phase of course and us may be two stages hai. Gametophytic phases uh, further divided into two stages, protonema stage and leafy stage. The protonema stage is prostrate that means parallel to the ground, green in color, branched and filamentous. It is also called as juvenile gametophyte and it has got many births. So, protonema stage also called as juvenile gametophyte and prostrate green branch filamentous and with many births. See, here I have shown the picture of Moses. Again, you must have seen this Moses. Rocks pe aapne dekha hoga. Ye actual image hai, actual picture hai Moses ka. You must have seen this on rocks. Then leafy stage, it is produced from each bird. It is produced from each bird, leafy stage. Proto, pro, uh, protema, protonema, here it should be protonema, spelling mistake, I am sorry for that. So protonema, it helps in vegetative propagation. Now what do you mean by that? Using uh, this, this protonema stage, uh, it will give rise to many plants. So if you take the tissue from that stage and grow, uh, in by plant tissue culture, it will it will help in vegetative propagation. Means you can grow many plants out of it. Okay, then leafy stage. It is erect, slender, stem-like. It is also called as a colloid. The main axis bearing spiral leaf-like structures or phy known as phyloid. Okay. Now this leafy stage, it is fixed in soil. It is fixed in soil by multicellular branched rhizoids. It is not superficial. It is properly fixed in soil with the help of rhizoids. And we know that in this case, rhizoids are multicellular, which means they are made up of many cells. Mosses also have sex organs. Then vegetative reproduction. Uh, it is uh, in the vegetative reproduction means they reproduce vegetatively. Vegetative reproduction is a form of asexual reproduction. Hai na? And uh, so uh, there are different methods of vegetative reproduction again. One is fragmentation, then budding. And this fragmentation or budding. Hmm? It is seen in secondary protonema stage. Even this is important. Uh, fragmentation or budding, it is seen in secondary protonema stage. What do you mean by fragmentation? The structure or body of the uh, plant, uh, it divides into uh, several fragments. And each fragment is capable of giving rise to new organism. Okay. And budding, budding is birds are formed. Jaise ki budding in yeast, hydra, yade. So, birds are formed and uh, by asexual reproduction, mitosis. And each bird, it obtains, first it is very small, it remains attached to the main body of a plant, parent plant. It remains, ya fir, uh, bigger cell, mitosis se do cell bante hai, ek bada, ek chota. So these birds remain uh, joined to the big cells, they obtain nutrition from it, they become mature, they grow in size, they get detached and they fall and fall on the ground. And each bird is capable of giving rise to a new organism.
ठीक है चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं एग्जाम्पल क्यूनेरिया पॉलीट्राइकम स्पैगनम एक्सेट्रा हाँ रिमेंबर दीज यू हैव टू बाय हार दिस एग्जाम्पल्स क्यूनेरिया पॉलीट्राइकम फैगनम एंड स्पैगनम एक्सेट्रा तो यू कैन सी हियर फ्यूनेरिया स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फ्यूनेरिया प्लांट इज शोन इन दिस ए देन बी इज राइजॉइज द राइजॉइज आर शोन जूम करके राइजॉइज ये जो राइजॉइज दिख रहे हैं यहाँ पे तो वही यहाँ पे जूम करके बताया है मैग्नीफाई करके एंड एक लीफ भी यहाँ पे बताया है वन लीफ दे हैव शोन तो यू कैन सी राइजॉइज दिस इज एक्सिस दीज आर लीव्स देन यू कैन ऑल्सो सी दिस एंटायर थिंग इज क्लोरोफाइड यू कैन सी अ कैप्स्यूल ठीक है कैलेक्टराइज वन स्ट्रक्चर वहाँ पे राइजॉइज बढ़ा करके बताया है लिफ्ट बताया बढ़ा करके जूम करके उसका मिड्रिप भी आप देख सकते हैं चलो लेट्स मूव फर्दर आई होप दिस इज क्लियर अगेन आई रिपीट एनी क्वेरी एनी डाउट यू हैव प्लीज गो अड एंड यू कैन आस्क मी इन द चैट बॉक्स वेन एवर आई विल रीड इट आई विल डेफिनेटली आंसर योर क्वेश्चन ठीक है Economic importance. What is it? Uh, how these uh, mosses are important for us? Okay. Some mosses they provide food for herbivores, mammals, birds, etc. ना खाते हैं ये mosses खाना है, food है for herbivores, mammals जो plants खाते हैं सिर्फ birds, etc. उनके लिए. Uh, sphagnum जो है ये जो moss है sphagnum. Uh, it provides pit. Which is used as a fuel. ठीक है इट प्रोवाइड्स पिट विच इज यूज एज अ फ्यूएल पिट सब्सटेंस है जो फ्यूएल के तौर पर यूज किया जाता है उसको बर्न करके यू कैन यूज स्पैगनम देन मोजिस दे यू दे आर ऑल्सो यूज एज पैकेजिंग मटीरियल बिकॉज दे हैव सिग्निफिकेंट वाटर होल्डिंग कैपेसिटी है ना मतलब दे आर हाइग्रोस्कोपिक इन नेचर वाटर होल्डिंग कैपेसिटी मतलब क्या दे आर हाइग्रोस्कोपिक ठीक है दे आर हाइग्रोस्कोपिक इन नेचर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस प्रॉपर्टी दे आर यूज एज अ पैकेजिंग मटीरियल लाइक लाइकन्स मोजिस आर ऑल्सो द फर्स्ट लिविंग बींग्स टू ग्रो ऑन रॉक्स लाइकन्स जैसे रॉक्स पे फर्स्ट टाइम आए थे मोजिस पे ऑल्सो the first living beings to grow on rocks they decompose rocks then they form soil and they make them suitable for growth of higher plants correct first uh, to grow on rocks they cause decomposition of rocks the soil is formed and then uh, it they also make the it suitable for the growth of higher plants dense layers of mosses many layers of mosses it helps in prevention of soil erosion does it acts as soil binders theek hai chalo so Uh, whatever we have done uh, now in bryophyta and uh, now questions quiz related to it theek hai so let's go ahead i'll give you few uh, i will give you some time few seconds to answer in the chat box and then i will answer i will give you the correct answer pit moss it is used for transporting plants to distant places because pit moss it is used for transporting plants to distant places because it is hygroscopic it reduces transpiration it is easily available yeah it serves as a disinfectant chalo answer karo
it is hygroscopic it reduces transpiration it is easily available or it serves as a disinfectant the pit moss is used for transporting plants ya other material to distant places because padha tha na bhi just slide mein if they have uh, water holding capacity is high that's why maine likha bhi slide pe matlab hygroscopic and so it is hygroscopic that's why it is used for transporting independent male and female gametophytes are present in independent male and female gametophytes are present in pinus mustard castor ya sphagnum independent male and female gametophytes are present in okay chalo i'll tell the answer it is sphagnum theek hai sphagnum answer hai all the plants like fern and mosses which produce spores are grouped under dash bryophytes cryptogams halophytes sporophytes answer is cryptogams theek hai all the plants like fern and mosses which produce spores they are grouped under cryptogams next a characteristic feature of bryophytes is a dominant and parasitic sporophyte a dominant and spore producing gametophyte a small sporophyte phase which is dependent on gametophyte sporophyte stay for a longer duration characteristic feature of bryophytes so answer is a dominant and spore producing gametophyte है ना डोमिनेंट एंड स्पोर प्रोड्यूसिंग गैमेटोफाइट स्टार्टिंग में पता था ना ब्रायोफाइट्स का डोमिनेंट एंड स्पोर प्रोड्यूसिंग गैमेटोफाइट ये कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर है गैमेटोफाइट डोमिनेंट होता है ओके नेक्स्ट द थायरॉइड प्लांट बॉडी इज फाउंड इन मोचेंटिया स्पैग्नम फ्यूनेरिया सेल्विनिया The thyroid plant body, thyroid plant body is found in Mochentia, Sphagnum, Funaria, yeah, Salvinia. Chat box me answer type karo sab log. Okay, chalo. Answer is Mochentia. find the true statement about bryophytes they have chloroplasts they have archegonia they are thyroid all of the above true statement about bryophytes they have chloroplasts they have archegonia they are thyroid and all of the above answer is they are all of the above theek okay? hai okay so see students uh, so today we have started with chapter 3 that is plant kingdom what all we did today i just have give a quick recap then uh, we saw different uh, characteristics based on which uh, different plants are classified into major groups and a phanerogams cryptogams were two charts dekhe humne then uh, what are phanerogams what are cryptogams for what are further divisions or everything we saw then we discussed about division thylophyta in detail after that we also discussed in detail about 
ब्रायोफाइटा ठीक है ना सी आई हैव ऑल्सो कंडक्टेड क्विज है ना फॉर बोथ थैलोफाइटा एज वेल एज ब्रायोफाइटा फ्री टेस्ट सीरीज एवरी सैटरडे एंड संडे इज अवेलेबल फॉर ऑन अन अकेडमी प्लेटफॉर्म ऐप है ना अन अकेडमी प्लेटफॉर्म प्लीज डाउनलोड दैट ऐप सी एवरी फॉर देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्लासेस आई डोल यू इन बिगिनिंग स्पेशल फ्री क्लासेस एंड प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन क्लासेस तो जो फ्री स्पेशल क्लासेस है फॉर दैम फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथमेटिक्स एंड बायोलॉजी टेस्ट सीरीज इज देयर एंड एनालिसिस ऑल्सो टेस्ट टेस्ट होगा उसके बाद आपको उसका आंसर्स भी बताए जाएंगे ठीक है सो यू कैन आप अपने मार्क्स भी आपको पता चल जाएंगे तुरंत सो थर्टी मिनट्स के लिए होता है नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज ट्वेल्व फॉर फ्री स्पेशल फ्री स्टूडेंट्स एवरी सैटरडे संडे ट्वेल्व पी एम थ्रू आउट द ऑगस्ट इट विल बी देर फॉर प्लस स्टूडेंट्स अगेन पी सी एम बी एवरी ट्यूजडे थर्सडे ट्वेल्व पी एम थ्रू आउट ऑगस्ट सो प्लीज प्लीज गिव दिस टेस्ट सी ऑन दी ऑन दी अन अकेडमीज प्लेटफॉर्म माई रेफरल कोड इज ए पी महा ठीक है सो यू कैन गेट अ टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट ऑन सब्सक्रिप्शन यूजिंग दिस कोड दीज आर सम ऑफर्स इफ यू टेक सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन इन एटीन मंथ्स यू गेट फ्री महाराष्ट्र बोल सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर टू मंथ्स फ्री क्रिएटिव कॉन सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर टू मंथ्स Likewise, if you uh, take subscription for twenty four, thirty six, or forty eight months, then you get Maharashtra Board subscription free for four months and free Creative Corner for four months, hmm? and flat ten percent discount on purchasing plus subscription for all durations. Flat ten percent is for upper se milta hai. So for that you have to use the referral code of any teacher. So please download the Unacademy app. है ना सो यू कैन अनलॉक माई प्लीज डाउनलोड दन अकेडमी ऐप इफ यू हैव नॉट येट डाउनलोडेड इट यू कैन गेट इट ऑन गूगल पे एज वेल एज यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम एप स्टोर यू कैन अनलॉक माई स्पेशल क्लासेस एंड माई प्लस क्लासेस बाई यूजिंग द रेफरल कोड ए पी महा My YouTube referral code is AP Ma'am Life. ठीक है students uh i i it, it's not there in the pdf i was just searching for it i forgot to mention in the pdf no problem but my i i will tell you see this is my youtube referral code दिस इज माई यूट्यूब रेफरल कोड ओके एपी A P Ma'am Live, A P M A A M L I V E. Ah, huh? so this is my YouTube referral code. So you can use my uh, this referral code 
for YouTube sessions to attend YouTube live sessions. ठीक है सो इफ एनीबडी हैज एनी क्वेरी प्लीज गो अहेड any query any doubt so i'll just quickly show you what we have done today in bio fighter see we'll just go through it we discuss the characteristics of uh, plants belonging to bio fighter then uh, we divided into two groups liver birds and mosses so we discussed about it of course some examples we saw see liver birds characteristics of liver birds then characteristics of mosses along with the diagrams their structure their functions and you know, economic importance of mosses and then poll correct so i hope you have understood today's session and you enjoyed the poll as well and in the uh, previous uh, slide previous pdf i told you about the doubt solving sessions plus subscription plans dekho we started with this characteristics this chart is important even this chart is important calophyta we did the characters with examples three classes green algae brown algae red algae अगेन उनके कैरेक्टर्स फंक्शन स्ट्रक्चर डायग्राम्स है ना ऑल द थ्री एंड देन आई वी ऑल्सो कंडक्टेड अ पोल फॉर दिस ठीक है चलो सो आई आई होप कि यू हैव लाइक टू डे सेशन लिसन टू इट अगेन प्रॉपरली इफ यू वॉन्ट and uh, if you have any queries you can always ask me in the chat box i will be more than happy to solve all your queries okay so hope to uh, meet you all in my next uh, sessions see i do have my special classes regularly for 11th standard my i can on this on academy app i conduct special classes daily okay so in the august now remaining days of august that is from tomorrow onwards from 16th to 30 31st of august my lectures 11 standard special class lectures uh, will be conducted from 9 pm to 10 pm at night theek okay? hai 9 to 10 at night 11 standard special classes will be conducted currently uh, nutrition human nutrition chapter is going on so tomorrow i will complete it so if you are interested please do come over there to, uh, to attend that session and then i will be starting with excretion and osmoregulation in my special classes theek hai so you can use the referral code ap maha over there see you can use this referral code to unlock my special classes uh, i told you 11 standard special classes i'm taking from 9 pm to 10 pm every day monday to friday monday to friday monday to saturday ठीक है मंडे टू सैटरडे सो यू कैन यूज माई रेफर कोड ए पी महा टू ज्वाइन दोज क्लासेस करंटली ह्यूमन न्यूट्रिशन इज गोइंग ऑन ओके चलो सो लेट्स स्टडी टूगेदर एंड लेट्स क्रैक इट ओके बाय ऑल ऑफ यू स्टे सेफ टेक केयर बाय द वे हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे ऑल ऑफ यू